What's happening, everybody? My name is Peter Olinto, and I want to welcome you to the Wiley Review for the CFA exam. I just want to take a brief minute or two just to introduce myself. I'm one of the lead instructors for the level one and two exams. Uh, you'll see me a lot on the videos uh, online, as well as doing live boot camps and intensive reviews around the world. Uh, so uh, hopefully we'll get to meet in person one day. But just so that you know who I am and my background, uh, I originally went to Florida State University because I foolishly thought I had a shot of playing football. Quickly realized that was never, ever going to happen as I was knocked unconscious the very first practice. So I decided to join the Air Force ROTC because my brother flies jets in the Air Force F-16s. And man, that seemed like an exciting way to earn a living, except for the fact that I'm afraid to fly. So when they took me up in a jet, I quickly realized this is never going to happen. So uh, the advice of an uncle who was a partner, uh, one of the big eight accounting firms, he suggested that I go to school and get uh, a degree in accounting. And the reason I took his advice, uh, he's a good guy and everything, but he had two really nice homes, two really nice cars, and he had this big fat boat down the Jersey Shore. And I was like, damn, if that's the kind of money a CPA makes, I want to be a CPA. And that's a sad but true story. So I got my degree in public accounting. I went to work for uh, Deloitte uh, as an auditor. Uh, I was fortunate enough to pass all four parts of the CPA exam on the first attempt. A lot of preparation, a lot of dedication, a good study plan, but I was able to do it. Uh, then decided to go to law school. I got my law degree from Fordham Law in New York City. Then went to work for Ernst & Young uh, to be a tax attorney. Left there after a short time, decided to start my own law practice where I did a lot of tax, real estate, estate planning. Uh, but really my, um, my first opportunity to teach was in law school. Uh, I got the opportunity to teach first LSAT, then SAT, GMAT. Decided, wow, I really like to teach. Uh, and then when I left Ernst and started my own law practice to supplement my income, uh, I started teaching at college. So I taught at Fordham University, graduate and undergraduate school of business. I taught uh, accounting and a lot of what I teach uh, for the CFA exam, financial statement analysis. Really enjoyed it. Uh, I got the opportunity to teach CPA videos and that led to uh, CFA videos. And not only have I been doing this for 20 years uh, online, but uh, I've been fortunate enough to travel all over the world, uh, all over Europe, North America, Asia, um, teaching live uh, classes. So um, it's really been great. I enjoy it a lot. Uh, pretty much what I do now is full-time uh, helping candidates prepare. And uh, basically what I could tell you is that I'm no smarter than any one of you out there, uh, but certainly having passed all these exams and every single one on the first attempt, what I could tell you Wade, the difference for me was having a good study plan, sticking to it. These, all these exams have such tremendous volume of information. It's obviously something you can't cram for. So a good study plan when you spread it out over three or four months, excuse me, you're studying on average 15 hours or 20 hours a week is very doable. Uh, I will leave you with this though. It's a sacrifice because if you're working full time and you're trying to study for the exam, they're not mutually exclusive. You could do both but you're not gonna have much of a social life for three or four months. So you really need to be motivated. What's the end game? What's the charter gonna do for you? And uh, let that motivation push you through because you can and you will do it. So uh, I'm excited. Uh, hopefully I'll get to uh, meet you guys live in person. If not, we'll meet each other obviously online through the videos and uh, I'm ready to go. So if you're ready to do a lecture, let's jump in and do it right now. Best of luck to you. Take care.